Hi, I am Mohammad Nadeem from Exam Help Web. In this video, I am going to describe static electricity. Almost all of us have experienced tiny spark when we take off our woolen clothes. We may have experienced a small shock when we come out of car and touch the car door. You, you may have experienced picking a small piece of paper with the help of comb when after combing over here. Likewise, you may have tried a sticking balloon on wall. Why all these things happen? This is not a magic. This is the reason of static electricity. Before understanding the nature of static electricity, we need to understand the nature of atom. The objects around us are made of tiny particles and each tiny particle consists of number of small particles, electron, proton and neutron. Electron carries negative charge, proton carries positive charge and neutron carries no charge. It means neutral. Neutron and proton stay inside the nucleus. They are tightly bound inside the nucleus. Whereas electron stays outside the nucleus and it can move from one atom to another. Due to this nature of atomic particles, static electricity is the result of imbalance between negative charge and positive charge of an element. The rubbing of certain elements can lead to a transfer of electron from one element to another. The material that receives an electron develop a negative charge and the material which loses electron develops a positive charge. For example, in winter when we walk, our clothes rub with our body and develop charge on it. And when we take off these clothes, we hear a small spark from it. Likewise, when we come out of car and feel a small shock uh, because the car while running uh, due to the friction of air develop charge on it. And when we touch the car, we feel a small shock. Likewise, when we use a plastic comb to comb our hair, it receives certain electrons and the development of negative charge on the plastic comb help in picking a small piece of paper. Likewise, when we rub a cloth on balloon, it develops certain charge. And when we bring this charge balloon near the wall, the wall start inducing negative charge near the balloon because this plus charge start inducing uh, charges on the wall and the positive charge goes away and the negative charge come close to the balloon and it stick on the wall. In order to further investigate this phenomena of static electricity, let's try to do a, an a small activity. I have two plastic rods and a piece of woolen cloth. So first, I will rub this plastic rod with woolen cloth. Just a few time rubbing and then I will try to bring it to a static position so that I can perform my uh, activity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now this plastic rod, I will try to bring this cloth near this and see what is the. Okay. Let's try from this side. See, now uh, this plastic rod has started moving towards this woolen cloth. First, it was moving on the other direction. Now it's moving towards 
the direction of cloth. Let's see. So this shows, see one more time. This shows attraction between the woolen cloth and the rubbed plastic rod. Now I will rub the second plastic rod with the same woolen piece and I will bring this near the first plastic rod and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. This, the first plastic rod has changed its, its direction of movement. Now I will bring from other direction. What happens? Again, it has changed its direction of rotation. So means there is a repulsion between the two bodies. There is a visible repulsion between two bodies. So with this activity, we were able to look at the attraction between the two charge objects and repulsion between the two charge objects. Till this discussion and activities, we see repulsion and attraction between two charges and we conclude that there are like charges repel each other, unlike charges attract each other. Static electricity is a phenomena that occurs due to imbalance of negative and positive charge in an element and this imbalance create due to the friction of two materials.